The U.S. Air Force announced the next generation intercontinental ballistic missile will begin test flights by the end of calendar year 2023. U.S. Air Force GBSD or Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent Program Manager Colonel Jason Bartolomei has stated that we are already in critical design review for the subsystems and we are months away from first flight. He said by 2023, we'll be at Vandenberg and will be flying the first test flights of the new weapon system. He added the missile is already flying in a modeling and simulation environment. It was also emphasized that there is no further margin to extend the Minuteman 3 system without risking the credibility of the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Force. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. military is moving to replace Minuteman 3 ICBM with new ground-based strategic deterrent GBSD missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The nuclear deterrence of a country depends on the nuclear triad. A nuclear triad is the capability to launch nukes from air, sea, and land. The U.S.'s nuclear triad includes B-2 and B-52 bombers and nuclear bombs and missiles, Ohio-class submarines armed with Trident II D-5 missiles, and Minuteman III ICBMs. The Minuteman family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. The number shrunk to around 450 by September 2017 and currently there are about 400. Over the years, Minuteman 3 has been found to be extremely reliable and several upgrades and life extension programs have kept it in working order. But now it's reaching the end of its service life. There has been considerable debate on whether to keep the Minuteman 3 in working order through further life extension programs or to have an entirely new missile. General Timothy Ray, the commander of U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command, told the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies in an interview, One of the key things with GBSD is an ability to sustain and operate into the future. Every way we look at this, the most cost-effective way was not to life extend the Minuteman 3. Life extending Minuteman 3 was not a viable path. There is an extensive price tag for trying to modernize and sustain the Minuteman 3 because you'll need to replace parts that weren't meant to be in the ground that long. Ray further explained that propulsion systems, electronic circuitry, and guidance technology would all also need to be refined, sustained, and upgraded in order to ensure the Minuteman 3 could remain functional in a relevant way. In August 2017, the U.S. Air Force awarded three-year development contracts to Boeing and Northrop Grumman for $349 million and $329 million, respectively. One of these companies was to be selected to produce a ground-based nuclear ICBM in 2020. In 2029, the GBSD program is expected to enter service and remain active until 2075. On the 25th of July 2019, Boeing announced it would not place a bid for the program, citing Northrop's recent acquisition of Orbital ATK, now Northrop Grumman Innovative Systems, Boeing's supplier of solid rocket motors. 
In December 2019, it was announced that Northrop Grumman won the competition to build the future ICBM by default. The U.S. Air Force said that they will proceed with an aggressive and effective sole source negotiation in reference to Northrop's bid. On the 8th of September 2020, Northrop Grumman was given a $13.3 billion contract to develop the GBSD intercontinental ballistic missile. Northrop is developing GBSD using digital engineering techniques and AI. This enables the corporation to examine different configurations without actually building them. Northrop has reportedly studied 6 billion different configurations for the missile using computer modeling. Minuteman series of missile gained range with incremental versions, with Minuteman 3 acknowledged to have an operational range of 8,100 miles or 13,000 kilometers, though the exact range is classified. GBSD will likely have a similar range. Minuteman 3 was the first true MIRV or multiple independent reentry vehicle capable missile. It can carry a maximum of three warheads and these can be independently targeted against three different locations. GBSD missile will most likely have the ability to carry 12 to 15 MIRV. Minuteman 3 carries W-78 or W-87 warhead. The W-87 is an improvement on W-78. Its design includes all modern safety features. GBSD missile will be armed with the W-87-1 which is an upgraded variant of W87. W87 1 thermonuclear warhead has a yield of 335 kilotons to 350 kilotons of TNT. For perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, by comparison, had a yield of about 15 kilotons. Minuteman 3 has been the cornerstone of American land-based nuclear deterrence for around five decades. It's been serving its purpose, but a new system is needed so that nuclear deterrence is not degraded in the coming days. American rivals like Russia are also investing in a new generation of ICBM to keep its nuclear forces up to date. The RS-28 Sarmat is a Russian liquid-fueled MIRV-equipped ICBM under development by the Makayev Rocket Design Bureau since 2009. It's intended to replace the R-36M ICBM, which is known as Satan. The U.S. needs to keep its land-based deterrence fighting fit, and this is the direction it's heading. GBSD is expected to achieve initial operational capability in 2029 and full operational capability with 400 missiles seven years later in 2036. The missile is expected to serve till 2075, giving the U.S. a reliable land-based nuclear deterrence.